A tense week at the University of Arizona has come to an end. This follows an alleged assault on campus that some are calling racially motivated. Not on your side's Rogelio Mata spoke with students who are hoping to turn the page this coming week. They don't share a last name. My name is Elijah Manning. I'm a freshman here at the University of Arizona. My name is Marianne Hassan and I am a sophomore. I'm Nayula Shabaka and I'm a freshman at U of A. But if you ask them how they feel about their group, they'll tell you it's family. It's really comfortable to be in a space where I'm allowed to be myself. It's become a family to me because it makes me feel safe. After a reported assault on campus, which some say was motivated by racial prejudice, a group of students found support on campus at the African American Student Affairs. Elijah Manning has only been in Tucson for a month. He says news of an assault wasn't the welcome he hoped for. One thing it really did was uh, make me afraid to tell my mother. My mom is miles away in New Jersey, and she stresses just that I'm here. With doors open all weekend at the Martin Luther King Jr. Center, Elijah changed his original plan to cope with tension on campus. I know if I'd be sitting in my dorm right now, I'd probably be listening to some sad Drake or something, you know. <laughs> we're students, and we're, our main focus should be our education, but we're out here doing labor that shouldn't be ours. Like any family following a difficult period, this one came together in one place to strengthen their bond. I feel like if it didn't happen, then maybe less people would be coming in, less sense of family would be happening. A new development in the reported assault that motivated last week's demonstration. The dean of Eller College confirmed in an email to students the accused attackers are students on campus and that they've been arrested. And in the official police report, UAPD officers documented one of the suspects admitted to drinking before the altercation with before the reported altercation with the victim. Police did say both appear to be intoxicated. Target. Now, when I did cover this story, well, when we first covered the story, I went to report on the Black Student Union demonstration that afternoon. There is a lot of frustration, hurt, and confusion over this incident. You definitely get a sense of that when you go out there. Right. Thank you so much, Rogelio.